this is Vince Curie. I'm in my recording studio where I keep my machines and I'm going to give a demonstration on a, a very popular embroidery only machine uh, which is the Brother PE770 which is right over here now there's a couple of um, issues that uh, I'm aware of that surfaced. Uh, I did help a couple of my subscribers um, get their machines working. And uh, <clears throat> what I'm going to show today, we're going to start with the with the problem that I had three 770s. And I uh, currently have the the big sister to it, the uh, Innovis 2800D, which is over here. Now, you know, that's a embroidery and sewing machine, and it's uh, quite expensive. It has a, a color display. Getting back to the issue at hand. All right, one of the things I'm going to show on this video is um, a problem that happens with these machines. And uh, the first time it happens, it, for better words, it freaks it freaks you out. And uh, the auto threader which which you see here under under here uh, it's made up of three parts like a little dog bone and these these are relatively small uh, I would say this is an inch this this metal thing everything's say about an inch You've got this mechanism this little little pin over here That goes through the eye of the needle. And um, right here, in this hole, when this piece is pushed and this, this dog bone moves like this, and this moves like this, this is assembled. And this is the way you would put it back into the machine. And then the shaft uh, has a, a pin going through the shaft that it goes into you want to call it a wing wing slot and and the shaft comes down into here through here and then of course it's going through here through there and then out the bottom and it sticks its nose out a little bit you know and the first one I had that fell off uh, I found out by laying it out putting it together and uh, how it went because I had three three little parts uh, so uh, it's just a press fit this hole is a press fit on the shaft so what I do is uh, and you could do it when you start when you start using the machine you just put your finger under the mechanism and just push up a little bit just push up right there Good, because when this works, it snaps. All right. Uh, the other problem, the other problem I've been contacted with uh, is upper thread breaking. And uh, uh, what what I do is I run the spools. If you're using this kind of spool, brother supplies this. Uh, when I first got the machine, the thread was getting caught in the uh, the spool pin that goes through here. You know, the spool pin goes through, and the thread was getting caught in here as it was unwinding. Uh, this had to be relatively tight, like this. So, 
so you don't have a little, a little bit of a gap like this. But it's still as you changing thread because sometimes you got 12 thread changes. Uh, I've done embroidery where there was 40 thread changes, believe it or not. So uh, the lady where Lisa, where I buy my machines, uh, a Mr. Vac and Mrs. So com uh, she said don't use the dawn thing she says it just gets in the way when you're using our thread the spool that I showed them that's polystar that's the one that they recommend it's a polyester here's another thread another thread uh, of course uh, you know the famous sulky this is a rayon now when I use these I do put the plastic cap on and I I find I don't have any particular problem all right now here's the other problem the upper thread breaking if you do all the regular things you change the needle you make sure that your thread uh, is feeding well and when I say feeding well when the presser foot is up like it is see now it's down this is up uh, the washers that the thread runs through, the tension washers, are open with the presser foot up on the, every machine. So when you pull the thread through the needle, you know, it, it comes off nice and you can see it coming off the spool and everything's flowing nice. You can feel it, what's normal. All right, now, if you feel snags and then you reach on the top of the machine, and you pull it back, you pull it through the needle, sort of doing this thing. And if you feel it tight and you press a foot is up and you have another issue. Now, here is a resolution. Now you gotta watch this closely. This I call a bull nose right here. Now there's one screw, in fact, I got it loose right now. Uh, it's about a half inch long. You just have to take it loose enough. Now, the next thing is this unit comes right off. Now, usually when you take something off, uh, go slow and peek, be, peek behind it. All right? Now, I'm going to show you what's, what's inside. Now, you can just put this on the side and forget about it until you're trying to put it back. But I want to show you some of the important things. Uh, here I marked, right here, that the silver peg goes in this hole. All right? So, silver peg, where are you? So, here, here is a silver peg. See? Right here. Now, this is just a peg. There's nothing. Uh, now... <clears throat> And I'm going to show you. I'm going to turn this. You see how easy that come off? Now, hey, look at this. Bird's eye view. Behind the scenes. That's your uh, auto threader. And that's a, uh, a mechanism that uh, holds holds on, on to. Uh, I'm going to show you. I move my machine a little bit. I'm, uh, no, not I mean the machine. And then... I'll turn this a bit also for now. Okay, here we go. So now, now we're on this side here. Now you auto threader. This part of the auto threader right here. Hook to this. That goes right here like this. See? Okay. Now, it's a good idea every so often. The one screw, and you get in there with a little brush. And what what I found, if the machine's in, in use for a while, I'm trying to find my tweezers here. Uh, the machine's in use for a while, and it could only be for three or four days. Especially if you get thread hung up. Uh, there is uh, there is a mechanism in here and when you turn 
the uh, when the machine turns the mechanism you can see it I'll zoom in a bit and I'll show you that mechanism okay you look in here right there and this is a mechanism right and uh, what that does is as you putting the thread in as you're threading the machine uh, the thread goes through that mechanism now here's another another little little deal uh, you could get you could get in there with uh, uh, with the pair of pliers right in here I don't mean pliers uh, a tweezer and you could pull the lint out that gets stuck Get stuck in there. You can see there's even some now. See, look, look the tweezers hanging off it. All right. Now, here's another thing you can do. You see this screw here? You see this thing right here? This part. I'll show you what that is. <clears throat> All right. All right, this as you as you're threading it, and when you do that, you you come into uh, you come into one, two, around, down, three. Let me go a little more. I want to show you the numbers as I'm working. All right, three. And you come up, then over. Now, when you come over, and then you come down, um, there is a take-up arm, and I'm going to show you that take-up arm. There's a take-up arm that the thread goes into. So, so let me let me show you that. Okay. Now what you could do is, uh, let me back up, okay, right, right in the front of the machine, where my hand is, right here, there's a lever, all right, I'm pulling the lever, and this comes right off, okay, that's out, out of the way. So now you have uh, uh, open open space over here. So let's you you got this screw here. Now you could hold the machine a little bit, put a little pressure. Oh, I need a bigger screw jack. Look at this. I just nobody move. Okay, we're back. Okay, there's a there's a screw right here. Right there, there's a screw. All right now, there's actually two screws. There's one above it. Okay, you can loosen this screw. Now, that screw you got to remove. So you get you get to a certain point, and what you could do if you want, you could uh, you could grab that. You can you could sort of back it up with your little pliers, and just keep in mind that there's a washer on it. All right, there's a washer. All right, so I got it there. See? All right. Now, above it, above it, there's another screw. Okay. See? I just loosened that one. All right. And this thing, this thing uh, backs away. So that screw you could leave in. Now here's. Here's what I was talking about. 
right there. And your, your thread goes in that little notch. As you bring the thread around, it goes in that little notch up there. And um, uh, all of this could catch lint. So uh, you could you could take as much as the lint out that that you can get at over there easier like this. Now uh, a lady told me today that I sent her uh, photographs of doing this, and she said that there was a, a ball a ball of a colored thread behind the sensor. Now. Uh, there's there's one sensor right here. She says it was behind a sensor, and uh, uh, she might have meant this over here. But you look where thread could be caught, and and you take the thread out. Now now just say you clean this. You got this clean, and that again is the take up arm. I call that a take up arm. All right, you got the thread out. So now you put this back to where it was. Uh, the uh, the top screw you snug. Okay, you snug it so it stays like that. Now you could, with the with the with the tweezers, put this back. And the other thing you can do, if you want, you know, this is all uh, an old. Uh, if you want to call it a mechanics trick, but uh, he, here's another thing you can do. You could take you could take a, a small screwdriver to get to get started with, you know, something maybe this this size right here, and then you put your little screw there, right? And you you, you put some you put some tape on it. You don't need much. You just have to have to uh, put the put the tape on so that the tape holds the screw like this right what you want to do is have the screw held so that when you put it in the hole you could push it and get it and get it going one or, one or two turns so you're able to take the screwdriver out right so I got the, the screw in there Okay, and I got the tape off. Now, then that screw, you you tighten, you jiggle this. It's always good when you tighten the screws. You you jiggle the thing; it aligns it. You jiggle it. Make sure this is aligned. Okay. And you. You line the screwdriver up so that it's in line with with the screw that's going into the into the thread portion, and you, you just snug it. You snug it. When you snug something, you concentrate on that I'm snugging it. You concentrate, not not that you're just putting it until the screwdriver slips. All right, that's snugged. Now here's the other thing. Um, I'm going to I'm going to rotate this. I'm, I'm going to bring my needle up. Okay, my needle's up out, out of the uh, presser foot. Now, let me lower this and let me explain. A lady told me she was trying to explain. Now she didn't get back to me that it worked. I was assuming she was talking about, she says, I watch all your videos and, you know, she went out and bought the machine. I'm assuming she's talking about this machine. All right, now, she says that the press of foot was to the right of the needle. To the right of the needle. So, first thing I did was I come down here. Oh no, I'm sorry. I come up. I'm upstairs. I come up and and I I 
I took my uh, I took my screwdriver and I loosened the screw that holds the pressure foot right on on the presser the presser foot shaft and with the screw loose of course you could angle this out of the way so it's out of alignment you know but you know that sort of uh, I wouldn't call it far-fetched but I think the lady would have uh, looked at the screw because if you have sewing machines usually you take the screw off to change the presser feet so that's sort of a common thing as common I would say as replacing a needle all right and uh, you could see a view there of uh, of the uh, auto auto threader mechanism you know so like I said every so often uh, now in the plastic right in the plastic up here not this I'm gonna talk about this this right here here's another picture this is I call it a nobule it's round like a doorknob and the purpose of that uh, in this plastic part right in line with this there's a groove built into it and just like a keyhole that knob fits into a hole when you're mounting it up fits into this hole so now the knobs up in the hole which is sort of a shaft or a groove so as you're doing this the knob rides back and forth in that little shaft thing the shaft that's in the plastic the groove that's in the plastic so that's where that goes and that helps make this mechanism flick out alright so now the lady said that this was out to the right of the needle the hole in here was to the right of the needle so she says does the shaft turn all right so I being that my machines are relatively new I come upstairs all right to, to my laboratory and uh, just move this up a bit Okay. All right now. All right here. I'm moving up and down the the presser foot here. All right now there there's a hole here. There's a hole on this side of the machine. Right here. And you see. Right here, you see the uh, Allen key moving. All right, uh, you bring the presser foot up, and you see the block. You see that block it goes up and down. That block has an Allen head uh, lock screw in it, and to get to it, you. Um, you go in that hole, you bring this to the up position, and then you you align the uh, uh, the key that goes into the Allen. Now, the um, key that I'm using, this is 330 seconds. It's a little too small. It's a little too small. So, but I was able to duplicate the latest problem. I did loosen this, cracked it loose, and then, um, let me lower the camera. All right, I loosened that set screw, and lo and behold, this just went back and forth like this. Now, you could loosen the set screw and this would drop down. So to put it back where it belongs, you could bring 
you needle down. Now your needle should be straight. It should be a straight needle, right? So it would pay to change that. And uh, you push with the set screw a little loose. You push this up. You know, you jiggle it if it's out of position. Bring it up, and then you align this so that it's the 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 distance in the uh, the press of foot has sort of like a keyhole slot and then it's round either round hole like keyhole and then it sort of elongated so the needle should be symmetrically placed in the middle the middle of this this hole this hole now now these press of foots they don't they don't go down and touch the press of uh, the uh, needle plate it the press of foot goes down and it, it's on of course on the uh, the hoop, you know, this embroidery machine. All right, so this up here, you you make sure it's tight after you align this down here. You, this should be uh, aligned also, so so this is parallel to this. That's important, and then and then you tighten this. Don't break it. Tighten it. All right, so now you can put this back. This pin goes in right here. This aligns. Um, it aligns to the right side of this black. Uh, block here to the right side and then and then this you guide it into the area on the top and then you make sure your washes you got two washes there you make sure they're back and the reason is is because you you're putting this uh, in front of the washes so all of that should be lined up as you're putting this back together. You'll line everything. Now, ordinarily, I I put my my head behind the that area there. See, it went right on. If I, I'm I'm sitting in front of it, I did it because I'm concentrating on this, right? And uh, so the screw now is in where it belongs as you can see and then uh, then i'm going to tighten the screw all these screws you don't do not have to over tighten you know just make sure your screwdriver is is a uh, parallel not like this not like you know just, not like this just you you look and you concentrate and you know you you make good contact and you bring it in Jiggle this up, make sure it's in, bring it together like this. All right, you can feel it now, it's starting to snug up, and you don't go nuts with it because you know you got a plastic deal, you just, just snug it. Okay, so now the other thing I could do, I could put, I could, I could put this back, see. And uh, on this end, you could see it has plug, it has circuitry, because being that it uses, uh, it has servos in here, different servos and 